Hey everyone, this is going to be a really quick comparison, like a side-by-side -side between the Graco and the Evenflow wagons. We've been asked to do kind of a comparison between the two of them. We don't own the Evenflow anymore. We've done a review and a comparison with it already, but I went to Bye Bye Baby to get some side-by-side -side footage of the Graco and the Evenflow, and I also own the Graco right now, so you can be on the lookout for a review on that one soon. Um, but we went there to get some side-by-side -side footage, so I'm going to compare different features for you, and at the very end, we're going to do our typical comparison chart that shows you features, dimensions, stats, all that good stuff, and you can see how they stack up against each other in the details. Um, so if you want some more B-roll footage, stay tuned to the end of the video, and I hope that you will subscribe and stay tuned for the Graco review that's coming. This is going to be a little bit of an aerial shot so you get an overview of what they both look like. Now I will say at this particular Bye Bye Babies, they had a $379.99 price tag on the Graco. That is not what I'm finding online and that is not gonna be reflected in the comparison chart. I just wanted to let you know so you can check in with your store. Now on the right, the Graco has rubber tires. The even flow has polyurethane foam and the rubber has so much more traction, it grabs the floor better and I really prefer the rubber tires. Now from these pictures, you can see the Graco is slightly more plush in the seating area. However, the footwell area is slightly deeper on the Graco. Not so much, maybe 0.25 to half an inch of depth more. Um, but that is something you wanna note, they both have three point harnesses, no option for a five point on either one of these. Neither of these options has the ability to unzip and dump the footwell. However, you will see in the Graco, there is no storage pockets for children. On the even flow, there are two storage pockets inside the carriage of the wagon. So that is something to consider. The seating area on both of the wagons feels like a similar amount of space. However, but to canopy, you get more space on the Graco. On the Graco, it's 25 inches to the tallest point of the canopy from the seat. And on the even flow, you're gonna get 21 inches of space at the tallest point. However, y'all know those canopies are a little funky. The Graco features two individual brakes, so although it looks as though they are connected because they have that rod that does make curb hopping easier, they are individual brakes and you have to engage each one of them separately. Likewise, the Evenflow has two individual brakes, however there is no rod connecting them which makes curb hopping very difficult as I showed in our last comparison with the Evenflow. Now the water bottle storage that's built on is taller than the storage that is built onto the Graco. The Graco literally will fit those tiny water bottles that you get in like a kid's meal. So that is something to think about. Now on the Graco you see there is built-in storage. On the even flow there is no storage built onto the back there. However, there is a basket option that you can put on the front or the back. So if storage is important to you, you're gonna wanna think about that. The even flow has no shocks built into it. As you can see, there's nothing there. On the Graco those are functional pretty great shocks that I tested myself and they work really well. Now those back tires are very, very similar in size. However, the push on the Graco is significantly better, noticeably better for me than on the Evenflow. I really enjoyed the push on that. Now I'm gonna show you the handlebars on the lowest setting on each of them. Evenflow is kind of notorious for being very short and sometimes causing people back pain if you're on the taller side. There is one more setting on the Evenflow to go even shorter, but it's kind of ridiculously short and eats into the seating space. So I don't foresee anyone really using that. However, just wanted to show you in case it's relevant. Likewise, you can see here the two wagons on their tallest setting, and you can see that the even flow is still shorter than the Graco. So if you're a parent with a long stride, or if you're a parent that's on the tall side, you may wanna consider getting the Graco just for the ease of use or the comfort um, of your stride. You won't have to adjust too much. Whereas with the even flow, it can be problematic sometimes. In this clip I show you that gray button is what you use to release the handlebar to put the even flow into pull mode. However, on the Graco there are two buttons on the inside of the handlebar that you have to push down on and push the handlebar all the way in so that it will release and you can put it into pull mode. However, mine may be defective because it is very, very difficult to use. So hopefully they're not all like that. Here you'll see the two snack trays. This is the snack tray on the Graco. You can see the two different fashions, the colorways that they have, and the car seat adapter. Um, but that's a very simple snack tray. The snack tray on the Evenflow is a bit more spacious and gives you more options for two kids. Neither of the handlebars come covered with anything. However, 
On the Graco, it's definitely more of like a stickier feel, if that makes sense. The even flow is just smoother. It doesn't have as much friction. The Graco, you can definitely feel it has more, more friction to it, if that makes sense. Now, it would be hard to cover the Graco handlebar if you got like a leather aftermarket add-on uh, because of this piece in the middle. On the even flow, you could do two separate pieces, um, theoretically, and just cover it on both sides. So that would be a little bit easier to hack. The back tires on the Gray can verify this because they're stuck with a pin and that keeps them in place. Now the even flow has a tab underneath that bar that releases the back tire and they're very easy to use. So that is definitely a plus. Now the front tires on the even flow, they do come off. You have to insert a tool into a tiny peg and it's very annoying, but the Graco ones come off much easier. All right, now we get into all the fun stuff for the detail-oriented people. So weight limit, not a huge difference there. Wagon weight, I'm a little surprised by that three pound difference. The even flow to me seems like it would be smaller. Um, so you would think it would weigh less. However, that push, I don't know if it's the tire material that the Graco has those rubber tires or what it is, but I took them both for a spin around the Bye Bye Baby, and I have been using the Graco myself around the neighborhood and such, and I really enjoy the Graco push more than I thought I would. It really is superior to the even flow from my testing. Um, I was very impressed by that. So it gives you better, I would say they're more all terrain for sure, those tires. So that to me was a kind of a standout. Um, I'm also gonna note the even flow dimensions and the Graco dimensions are very similar on paper. However, I kind of doubt that they're including the basket length. Like if you put the basket on the even flow, that in the length dimension. So that is going to make your wagon experience overall longer if it's on the front. If it is on where the driver is pushing the wagon, you may kick that. So something to think about if you're out and about and you're pushing the even flow, and you have that basket on the opposite side, it is going to elongate that wagon and make it a little bit more difficult to navigate in small spaces or maybe in crowds. When it comes to the fold, I was a little bit surprised by the bulkiness of the Graco because I figured without a frame in that footwell that it should be very compact. However, it's decently compact, it really is. Um, compared to the even flow, the even flow, the, the handlebar does not fold down, so you're not getting really a, as truly a compact as a fold as I would have expected, given how small it is. So the Graco wins out in that aspect, definitely. Loses out that it doesn't have a basket. You have to hack it. I know the Anthem basket works well on the Graco. However, if you can't get a hold of an Anthem basket, you're going to have to figure something else out, something from Amazon. Um, so that's, you know, something to think about. The push and pull, very similar in, in how that is achieved, and the tires are almost the same size. The even flow definitely wins out in the accessories game. They have the basket included, but they also have the option of that toddler seat that you can add that can potentially make it a three-seater wagon. Um, that is a game changer for a lot of people. Graco doesn't have that option. I hope they come out with something like that in the future. However, that is something that is a bit of a detractor compared to the even flow. Um, they both only have a three-point harness, no option for the five-point. And I would also note that the Graco does have a true standing fold. The even flow, they say they do, but I found that it was very finicky. So if you look at it wrong, it's gonna fall over. They're both limited in that they don't have an optional footwell. It is only a footwell and you have to stuff it if you want a nap. Um, another thing that they're both limited by is that their car seat adapters only take their brand of car seat. So for the Graco, you must have a Graco car seat. For the even flow, you must have an even flow car seat. So that is definitely something that's important to some families. The very last thing that I'll say is that the Graco has far superior canopies to the even flow. Absolutely love them. 10 out of 10 would recommend. They're sturdy, they're full coverage, they give you four inches of canopy height that the even flow doesn't, what's not to like? Alrighty folks, that's gonna be the end of our video today. If you want more information on the even flow, please check out the previous review and comparisons that we've done with it. And if you want more information on the Graco, we have an unboxing already posted and we will be posting a review soon. We've been using it and enjoying it. So there's gonna be some more information out there for you. Please like, subscribe, share all the good things. If you wanna stay in the loop, we're gonna be having a big giveaway in July to celebrate our two years on YouTube. 
We're also on Instagram now, at Stroll and Soda Pop, so please follow us there. We have giveaways that are going to be posted on there as well. More information will be available on there, um, as it's easier to share than it is on YouTube. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions that I could help you with, please leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.